Hi and welcome. Today we're gonna show you how to set up Server 2012 R2 in Hyper-V. It's basically almost the same as installing it on a normal computer using a CD drive or a LAN install. The only thing is this is operating in a virtual computer. Okay, so let's start by creating a new virtual machine. Okay. Give it a name. Okay, let's call it server 2012 R2 install demo. Okay, let's choose a generation 2, which is quite nice. Okay, go ahead. Ah, this thing can sometimes cause problems. So I will go for 3 gig, okay, the exact figure would be 3072 if you wanted the precise 3 gig. Okay, let's go forward, connect it up to the internet as well. Do, 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 do. Okay, size, 127 gig max for the hard disk, okay, perfect. Install the operating system from an image. Yes, okay, I have this on the desktop. Okay, there we go. Do, do, do. Everything's happy. Click that. It'll create the new machine. As soon as the machine is started, you just double click on it. It starts up over here, then click the start button, almost like a power button. And then, as soon as this goes, let's full screen it. This, if you don't catch it in time, you need to restart it. Let's go to full screen. Press any key. Has it no? Okay, let's restore it down. I'm gonna turn it off. Just turn it off as nothing has actually been installed or set up over here. I'm now gonna start it up, but click in here so you get. Now you see it works. Let's go to full screen. Okay. If you didn't get the focus within the window. It doesn't recognize it, and then it goes to the next boot drive or setup. Okay, basically English US, 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 okay, that's fine, everything's fine. Click on install. By the way, as this is running in a virtual machine, which is basically having two computers running at the same time almost, things are a little bit slower than normal. If you were to install it, using a CD straight onto a normal hard disk as like a normal installation it'll be a lot quicker okay you have a couple of choices okay one is the core which is running it in like what some of us old guys would know as a PowerShell I'm uh, sorry a command command prompt but it's actually PowerShell okay which is like a super duper more powerful object based command prompt DOS window okay all right, so you have that as the server core. Then you have the standard version where you can have like a Windows, where you get nice little Windows, not like a black screen or a blue screen. Okay, then you have the data center. Yeah, now we're going data center server core or data center with all these little windows. Okay, let's go with the GUI. Okay, let's click next. Okay, read the license. I'm sure you've read these things a lot of times, but still it's always good to just read it. Okay, click next. We're not upgrading, we're doing a custom install. If this was installed to a normal computer, not a virtual machine, you just put the CD in. Okay, you would get a list of your drives or whatever, you would format them, okay, you'd create them by new, etc. etc. We're just gonna go with the standard over here and then click next. And it'll do it automatically, all that's needed for that one drive. Okay, now this thing, it'll basically just automatically go through it 0 to 100, 0 to 100, and tick, 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 
you know. And this roughly on this virtual machine takes about 30 minutes. I'm not gonna keep you just looking at this screen for 30 minutes as it is quite boring. So I'm gonna pause it on my side and literally in a second or two on your side, you'll see it just towards the end. Okay, what happens at this point. Okay, so see you in a bit, but you hold on because it's only a few seconds for you. Okay, we're back. Alright, basically it went through the whole list and then it basically gave a countdown to restart. Everything automatic, no touching from my part. Okay, and now it's restarted and it's booted up and it's in here. Basically, you need to set up a password for the administrator. Okay, it generally needs to have like a cap letter, um, a number, preferably even a symbol. Okay, let's give it something small because we're just doing this and I don't want to keep typing it 10,000 times. Okay, that's small enough to pass through the test. Okay. Okay, we still have a couple more steps left. Not too many, but it does take time for the computer to set all these things up. In terms of our input, ah, probably less than a minute worth. Okay, control alt delete. Okay, now this is running in a virtual machine in Hyper V, which comes with Windows 8 Professional as the client version, and in the server versions, it comes as a server version. You can also use the clients, etc. All right, uh, da, 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 da. we need to give a control alt delete. If I was to press control alt delete now, it'll go to my computer's task manager, which we don't want, so we need to enter it in here. Let's go over there, action, control, alt, delete, bingo, go back to full screen, so everyone's happy, enter the password again. Please wait for the user profile service, applying settings, and this is basically the display size, okay, the phone's ringing as normal, okay. Yes, give it a nice big size. It'll then go back in. View full screen mode. Okay. All right. Here we go. We have Windows Server 2012. Happy, happy, happy. At this point, what you might want to do is configure your static IP address, the name of the computer, etc, etc, etc. For today, all we're going to do is basically just up to this point where you get the server manager running. Okay, you have your PowerShell, which is like a DOS prompt, but a lot more powerful and looks even nicer. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, the next video should be how to remotely install this and we'll also have a couple of videos on configuring and getting this up for all the roles and features etc. So look forward to quite a few more videos and they should be coming very very soon. Thank you very much and have a good day.